Good morning from Parsboro. It's day two of the Parsboro Plain Air Festival and it's not raining at this particular moment, but it was and it will again. What I want to show you here though, I'm at the bottom of the cliff, it goes way, way up. I don't know if you can see it. I'll try and bring you in. See the texture on those rocks? That's fossilized seabed. All of it is old seabed, one on top of another, on top of another. So cool. I want to try and paint that. It is raining a bit, just like sort of flying mist. Probably some of that fog that's way over there. But anyways, I brought an umbrella for my buddy Carol so that the rain doesn't hit my paper. We'll see how it works out. Here's my drawing. Okay, so I've got my first wash on there. There's no rain actually hitting my paper, which is good, but I am wondering how I'm going to manage to get this to dry so that I can keep working on it. Or maybe today will be an exercise oops, in painting wet on wet. I don't want to get too much into the details. What I'm trying to do is develop the facets of the rock. If I took another run at it, I might do it slightly differently, but I fascinated by this. Look at how the fog now is wiping out the tops of those trees. So cool. So I've got work yet to do and uh, there's still fog hovering off the weir and it's still raining a little bit but so far my painting is staying kind of dry. I realized the best way to give you a sense of the scale of the cliff is to show you my easel and then show you where I'm looking. And it's still raining. Yippee. I don't know if you can tell, but the wind's picked up. Uh, there's actual rain now. It's no longer flying mist. There's fog up at the top obscuring some of those trees, which is really cool. I tried to include some of that in my picture. The best part of doing this one was putting in the wriggly, writhing lines leading up to the top. I tried to use sort of visual cues just to guide your eye upwards and hopefully give you a sense of the height of this scene. So that's done. I'm um, gonna pack up. The worst thing about painting in the rain is even with an umbrella my paddle, my palette ends up full of puddles so I have to clean that up. And I have no idea how I'm gonna get this wet painting out of here. I think what I might end up doing is carry the painting out first. It's about, I don't know, half a kilometer back to where I where my car is. Might carry my painting out first and then um, come back for the rest of my gear. I came in closer to give you a more close-up look at the texture of some of these rocks. This is the view I really want to paint. I want to paint looking up, right up under the trees, or under the cliffs looking up at the trees. I think that would be super cool, uh, but I'm too chicken, honestly, to uh, set up right under these rocks. I've had a healthy fear of cliff falls instilled in me as a kid and uh, I just don't want to don't want to spend too much time here. While I was painting I every now and then I'd hear a little trickle of rocks down the side and was glad I was further out the beach um, but this would be a really cool scene I think to try and portray and uh, look at the texture in those rocks. Isn't that cool? There's ripples here if you can see that really those are ancient ancient beaches so old and there's just layers and layers and layers of them stacked one on top of each other it goes around this point here and into the next point too it's all it when I look at the sides uh, the broken faces I can see ripples on so many of them it's really cool